What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome to the best time of the year, fall baby. Aren't those drone shots beautiful? I absolutely love when the trees start changing color, but I'm not dressed for this. Coming from Atlanta, I, this is all I packed. Like a hoodie and a vest is about 45 degrees out and I'm freaking freezing right now. So let's get this video rolling. Back in Cleveland, Ohio, just for a couple days visiting my family and my friends, always good to come back. If you're new to my channel, this is where I grew up. And when I went to Atlanta two and a half years ago, that was never a long-term plan. I've always known when it's time to potentially you settle down have a family this is where it's gonna be so right now we're gonna go check out a couple places to start this video and we're gonna crunch some numbers and see if it might be a good time right now to buy my first home a starter home I don't know let's go check out some homes in the area in case I were to come back in the near future let's go All right, first house of the day. This is in a pretty nice neighborhood, nice and quiet, going for only 309. And now a lot of people will say Ohio is so freaking boring to live in, and I get it. I think Ohio gets dogged on all the time, and I totally understand being from there. There's not that much to do, honestly, compared to other places around the country. Basically, in Ohio, you have Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, the three main cities, all starting with a C, and then in between those three cities, it's nothing. It's just all farm country, not much to do lots of open area lots of open fields and corn and other things like that anyways I'm from Cleveland and this is what you get in the suburbs the number one good thing about Cleveland and basically most of Ohio is that it's so 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 cheap and affordable compared to the rest of the country as you can see here this house is about 2400 square feet four bedrooms I can't remember two and a half or three bathrooms anything in Atlanta like this size 20 minutes from downtown is at least $500,000 in today's markets, if not even more. So the fact that something like this is still only 309 is is really, really nice. And you can see it, it looks pretty cool inside. Everything is painted. Most of the things are updated. It truly is a pretty nice house. And you saw the big backyard as well. If I were to buy something, I think my number one priority that I would want is a big fenced in backyard. Going from a one bedroom apartment, if I'm gonna upgrade, if I'm gonna put down a lot of money to invest in something the number one thing I want is a big backyard on top of a, a nice bathroom like that as well so good overall first house I think uh, this is something I, I could definitely consider if I were to move back one day Don't need to talk about it. Yeah. All right, second house of the day. This one's going for about 350, and this one is completely new on the inside, as you see throughout this video. But let's keep talking. Yeah, I think Ohio can seem very boring to anyone who's not from there, but I really think that the number one thing Ohio has for it is one, its affordability. As you can see with these houses, these are so much more bang for your buck that you can get like anywhere else. And look at that, look at that huge freaking backyard. I mean, there's so many big yards in Ohio for such a good price. But the number two thing is, is that everyone from Ohio is proud to be from Ohio. There's so much camaraderie around, mostly the big cities. So Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, me being from Cleveland, dude, the Cleveland sports fans are second to none. They're top tier. They're among the best in the country. And yes, I am biased, but I really think that. I think Cleveland is actually the smallest city in the country with all three major sports teams, uh, basketball, football, baseball. And we really rally behind that. So yeah, good looking house overall, completely new on the inside. I think it overall is 60, 65 years old maybe. Uh, this does have a finished base. So all in is about 2,700 square feet, about 1,800 on the main level, and then 900 more in the basement. Not quail. <laughs> the, best, goat. the goat. The goat hair stylist. Best, best stylist on the market. Fixes up my dude in the comfort of her own home, baby. That's first class service. 100%. <laughs> Last minute cut before we go out. Yeah, absolutely. That's all we need. That look fresh, huh? Three, two, one, 
Sweet night out of Hawthorne House in downtown Cleveland. You gotta check out that place if you're ever in the city. But here's the third house going for 275. Super cheap, 275. Here's a calculator uh, with assuming a 5% down payment. I put down 5% because most first time home buyers aren't rolling in cash. They don't have 20% to put down a house. So 5% with a 7.5% interest rate puts your monthly payments at over $2,400. That's ridiculous. And you'll see here in a sec that with an 8% interest rate, and that's pretty much the new standard for a 30 year fixed mortgage, your payment comes out to over $2,500. And you'll see here in a sec again, when you put it down to 3%, the payment goes down to about $1,700 per month. 3% is what the interest rates were a year, year and a half, two years ago. As you can see with the 5% interest rate swing, that's $800 per month difference. It's pricing people out of the market, the interest rates alone. So is it a good time to buy right now? I have no idea. I don't even know when a good time versus a bad time is. If they go down, you can refinance, but there's no guarantee that the rates would even go down. Bye, Dana. Good Bye. luck back in college. Any last words? Any final words? Put you on the spot. Um, stay in school. Stay in school, kids. You better stay in school. <laughs> Bye, Emily. Bye. See you soon. Any last words? No boyfriend. No. No Bro. boyfriend. That's right. Liam. <laughs> Liam. Say bye. bye. Say bye. You guys, bye. remember Liam? If you're an OG, you've been following for a year, two, or three, this dude is growing up so fast. This is my little cousin Liam. He's already six years old. First time you're on this channel, you're like two or three. You know that? Remember that? And four. And four. <laughs> yeah, and five and six, right? Yeah. See you, Dad. See you soon. I love you. Any last words? Thanks for coming. Absolutely. Any last words for the camera? Four on the floor and no hands. See that? <laughs> four on the floor and no hands. And no hands. It's his rule when I'm with a girl. That's right. right. Four feet on the floor and, and no, no hands. hands. Yep. That's something I'm going to tell my son one day, too. Okay. All right. See you soon. Did it help? Yeah, not really. <laughs> See you uh, uh, Christmas for sure, and month. hopefully you can come on for a taxi. And then you're coming in January, right? Uh, right. My mom's going to Punta Cana, then she's yes. coming to Atlanta after that. So okay. Be fun. Mm -hmm. Bye, mom. All love right. You. Love you. You miss me? I miss this dude Apollo so much. Every time I leave, I always miss him. Yeah, look at him. Look, look at my hand. Look at my hand, buddy. I know he missed me, didn't you? Huh? Huh? Yeah, you did. You did. Oh, okay. Oh, one thing. Uh, so a couple weeks ago, I gave you guys a full apartment tour. Well, we added one more thing. I just bought this TV stand for our bedroom. Put a new TV on that as well. Xbox goes in the middle and a couple decorations on either side of the Xbox. I like how it's uh, like two different levels. You know, this is higher than this. I think it's just a cool feature. Shout out to my dude Kingston when you watch this. Appreciate this. He sold this to me for only 65 bucks. He just moved out of Atlanta back to New York City where he grew up. So really appreciate this. I think we are finally done with our apartment now. And let me ask you guys a question. After you guys come back from vacation and you have a suitcase to unpack, are you person A where you unpack it immediately fold everything, do laundry right when you get back, or are you person B, like me, and take at least a couple days to get this thing unpacked? Well, Skylar's person A, I'm person B, and she gets pissed at me for being person B. Yeah, this this suitcase is, is not being touched for at least a couple days because I'm freaking exhausted. It is super good to be back home in Atlanta. Dude, every time I leave the city, I miss the city so much. And I don't know when I'm gonna get tired of the city. There's just so much to do here. There's so many places to go. There's so many cool places to eat. The only place to eat in the suburbs is like Bob Evans. But it's, it's really good to be back here in Atlanta. In the meantime, I really hope you enjoyed another video today. Quick trip back home for me. It's always a pleasure seeing my family and my friends since ever since I moved here two and a half years ago. I miss them like every single day. So I really hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, make sure you drop me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also subscribe to my channel if you have not yet because I drop a new video every single Monday that you don't want to miss. See you next Monday.
Like that. Like that. 